Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Writing Data Pipelines with Kedrell. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to supercharge your shell scripts with Kedro and utilize a parameterized Kedro CLI as a powerful tool in your terminal arsenal. And so today, if you're feeling what I'm feeling, butt that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding so you know when I'm pipelining. Okay, let's get started. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to start up our ASCII cinema and then attach to a Tmux session. Okay, so in our last video, we created a pipeline that will download videos from YouTube using YouTube DL on the command line. The problem with our last pipeline was that in order for us to do any kind of downloading of videos, we had to continuously modify our parameters.yaml file. So what we were doing is we would manually change our YouTube URL, and then we would add in a uh, YouTube URL such as this one. Then we could run catch or run, and the whole thing would run. Obviously, this is actually uh, very difficult to script in a shell without having to actually modify this parameters.yaml file. So is there a better way, or is there another way that we can do this? Well, I'm glad that you asked, hypothetical person. What you can do instead is by uh, removing this parameters.yaml parameter, you can instead replace that parameter with a command line argument. So this params equal to YouTube URL, and then you can pass in the URL itself. So let me just show you, let me just prove to you that this actually uh, will not work without the parameter. When we do Kedro run, it's going to say, oh, you're missing this YouTube URL. But when we pass in the YouTube URL in this format, where we have the key of the YouTube URL, uh, colon, and then the value here as a parameter in this params argument, we'll see that the pipeline itself actually runs. So what does this mean? This means that because we have access to change Kedro parameters via the command line interface, we can create some powerful scale shell scripts that take advantage of Kedro itself to run operations. So in this case, for example, what we could do is we can create a function called KD DL, which is like Kedro download. And then we can use this to download our YouTube videos. So what we can do is we can say, okay, we're going to CD into this Kedro YouTube DL folder when we call the function. This is just to change the current working directory. Then we're going to do Kedro run with params as the option set, and then YouTube URL as the parameter that we want to set followed by dollar sign one, which means it's the first argument in this KDL function that will be passed through. And then we're gonna CD dash, which goes back to where the previous place we were. Now we can close that function. And when we run KDL, we can then pass in a YouTube parameter. And we can see it begins the download. Of course, the download will still happen only inside of this folder, uh, but one step at a time. So you can start to see, again, some of the power here of Kedro. Uh, by being able to pass these parameters into uh, Kedro CLI, you can modify your pipeline at runtime in order to download or execute in the manner that you wish it to do. And with that in mind, you can then do all sorts of different kinds of things with shell scripting, with XRGs, with grep. You can do any number of things in order to get your parameters the way that you want them. Okay, well, that's it for today's video. It's a little bit of a short one, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Thank you very much for watching. And again, if you're feeling what I'm feeling, make sure to butt that like, sub that scribe, and ring that ding when you want to know when I'm pipelining. Okay. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.